Hey there, my baddies. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get this pink and black Halo Galaxy eye done. Yes. Okay, so the black for this look, aka the foundation for this look, is coming from Juvia's Place. If you don't know, finding a good black eyeshadow is like, it's like finding a good man. <laughs> it's hard, you feel me? But I really do love this one from Juvia's Place. It's in the Warrior 2 palette. Um, It's just pigmented enough and it, it it's not chalky. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, you have to normally build and build and build, layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer until you get that pigment that you're looking for. Now with this, when you see boom, 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 a couple taps and look at that smoked out honey smoked out now you're gonna have some fallout dealing with black eyeshadow that's why i am coming to y'all without my foundation or anything on because this black i don't care how good of a makeup artist you are this black gonna fall baby it's gonna fall it's just gonna fall in between the seams. it's just gonna happen it's just the way black eyeshadow works okay before this look it's kind of simple but it, it's it's simpler than you think okay it's easier than you think so for the halo eyes you're basically just starting off with two core two cores two colors on each side of your eye so you see i have that black on the outside of my eye and on the inside of my eye and i am just making sure that that pigment is picking up as much as i need it to pick up you see what i'm saying i want this to be very smoky very pink very galaxy very not dark but not light you see what i'm saying so i I am just taking my time and tap 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 what i always say tap that brush to build that pigment if you want to rub it out that's how you move the pigment but tap it to build the pigment ain't it now you see right there i noticed that the, the shadow isn't coming up on the same the same on each side i need them i need them to be at least identical twins not cousins y'all know what i be saying y'all know me right so i'm still gonna go ahead and just take my time as i always say and build that color up okay and we're just tap tap tapping tap tap tapping tap tap tapping tap tap tapping tap, tap, tap. see what i like about a halo eyes it, it doesn't work for itself almost it's like if you get the foundation right you can't go wrong from now mm -mm, no nah, you can't go wrong from there so just make sure that that pigment is on each side of your eye the same length on each eye for each eye did that make sense probably not but y'all see what i mean right y'all see what i mean okay then i'm gonna take a fluffy brush it's a small fluffy brush and then i am just gonna blend out those harsh lines of that shadow you see right there yes yeah, just back and forth back and forth back and forth and you see how it is just a light smoke it's a light smoke darling it's just it's you see right there it just it already is starting to look you see where the look is coming together it's already coming together y'all see that fallout you thought I was playing about that fall out no that black gonna fall out baby that's one thing I can guarantee you baby that black gonna fall but it's fire too though it's fire too so you see I'm taking that brush and just just kind of rubbing it just back and forth very very small strokes just back and forth back and forth back and forth just to get rid of that harsh line of that shadow then I'm gonna come in with my makeup wipes and we're gonna try our best to get rid of this black underneath our eyes because it's unnecessary we don't want we don't want that let's get rid of that so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it all off as you see it created a bigger mess so this is why when I'm using black shadows or or any dark shadow really dark shadows in my opinion have a tendency to fall out more than brighter shadows i don't care what brand you're talking about darker pigments are looser just is what it is darling okay but um we're gonna go ahead and clean everything up here and then now that everything is cleaned up you can really see where we are going with the eyes and baby we only been at it a few minutes and by the boom by the bang we was almost already there okay I'm going to come in with some very light concealer, almost white concealer, but not quite white. And I'm just going to make a two dots right there, right there. Bum, 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 bada, bum. It turned out not to be enough concealer and I had to put some more on my brush. But you want to put more product than too much product, okay? You, 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 it's like when you add salt to your food. You see what I'm saying? If you add too much salt, it's, it's hard to fix that. But if you don't add enough, all you got to do is add some more. Right? Right. Same concept. So I'm just going to tap it right here in the center of that black that we drew right hello queen my my, yeah, my puppy just won't leave me alone but um we're gonna go ahead with that um white concealer and we're just gonna tap it right in the middle of that black tap 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 and make sure we are building that white up enough because that is the 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 what is the base there we go y'all it's been a day it's been a long day y'all know it it ain't me if i don't get tongue tied is it really an atari j makeup video if i don't get tongue tied not really right 
and then again harsh lines with that so right so we're going to take the same fluffy brush that we blended out our harsh lines earlier and we're going to go ahead right over that black and that white and y'all see it y'all see we could really end, end right here throw a little white shadow right there on the center and it really could be done right here put a pin in that mm -hmm. we're gonna come back to that for a future notice and <laughs> we're gonna do a video about that but we're actually gonna add some color to this look just to just to divatize it a little bit right now it's it's too basic it's too uh, it's it's, too, it's not enough so when i am done finishing up getting rid of these harsh lines we're gonna come in with a pop of color doll and just a pop of pop of color because would it be me if i didn't add pink or glitter or something along the barbie diva line it wouldn't be okay um, I'm watching my show on the side, y'all. So if y'all see me do a little, little, little side er, oof, it's because one of my characters done got killed. I am rewatching Grey's Anatomy for the thousandth time, y'all, and I still cry every time. Am I the only one that do that? Baby, every time I know what's gonna happen and I still cry. I ain't gonna say nothing about the show for the people that, that ain't seen the show or whatever, but just it, get your tissue boxes ready, baby, because it ain't for the week. Okay, it ain't for the week. But we're going to go ahead. You see, I'm still getting fallout. So I'm just cleaning up my fallout as I go because I don't want it to oxidize in my skin, a.k.a. set in my skin, a.k.a. adhere to my skin. Then it's harder to remove. Okay. Now, again, I had a lot of people ask me about this. I don't know who Yolando is with this makeup palette. But, baby, Yolanda did it with these colors. These colors is pigmented. These colors is vibrant. These colors is coloring. Okay, so I don't know who you are, Yolando, but you did it with your makeup brand, baby. We gonna, we gonna get you heard. Hey, if you ain't, I don't know if you're famous or I don't know. But it's makeup by Yolando, okay? We're coming in, obviously, with that pink shade. And you see me kind of just tapping, tap, 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 tapping it in. Right where we put that white concealer. Because that's why we put the white concealer, right? To give it a good base for the pink. So we did the same thing on the other eye. Y'all don't need to see it because I, I did, I, it was the same process. Just copy, paste, copy, paste, baby. So we went on ahead and built it up with that pink. And then we're going to go ahead and, and, and add, 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 even, add, add even more persuasion to the situation. I be getting excited, y'all. And I don't be trying to, you know, I don't be knowing what I want to say. But you get the play right. Okay. So here we go with my duo lash glue. Because, baby, there will never be a time where I don't buy duo lash glue again. I was trying to be cheap and go to the hair store, get the clear glue. Then I was trying to be cheap and just use the black glue that I had. It's not the same. It's not the same. Duo, duo. I'm sorry. You you have a special place in my heart. Okay. You just do. But especially working with glitter, I think this glue is just, it's just, it's just the best. I'm sorry. It's just the best. So I went on ahead and put a very thin layer of that duo glue down first. And then I came in with that same brush that I used that pink with and just kind of started tapping that glitter right in. Now it didn't have to be very specific because I kind of want the glitter to fall out a little bit onto the black. The way it's not such of a harsh line. So I'm kind of just tapping it, tapping it. And oh, I shocked myself, baby, because it looked good, darling. It looked good. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I went on ahead and let y'all see this just in case you missed it the first time okay nice little thin layer go ahead Ooh, no she didn't okay but go ahead and look nice little thin layer of that glue mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'm not giving it a chance to get tacky either i am immediately going ahead and putting that glue on and then immediately going in with that glitter i'm not giving it any time to get sticky or tacky because i don't need it to be too sticky i need that glue to kind of be loose that way i can control where this glitter pigment is going okay so again, we're gonna just tap, 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 and y'all, this you, you wanna know where this glitter came from, y'all? This glitter came from the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. It was a dollar. And then they also have y'all know, y'all know Dollar Tree done, 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 done elevated on us. You know they moving on up two okay be, be, yeah they moved on up on us so you know the dollar tree has a plus section with items that cost more than a dollar and i found the same glitter but in a multi-pack of six glitter pigments so you know i had to go ahead and get that baby i didn't care about that five dollars because these 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 makeup brands honey <clears throat> even if i got it that don't mean i'm gonna give it to you you see what i'm saying <laughs> Some of this glitter is getting high, though, y'all. In all serious, like, these makeup brands, we we love y'all. But can y'all realize we got to pay rent, too, after we buy the makeup? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying, baby. But you see, I am going in. I kind of wanted to spread this glitter out a little bit more, like I said, because then it gives that halo. You see that iridescent? It's just, it's just, oh, my God. It almost looks computer printed, y'all. And y'all see how simple it was? It was so simple. Now, y'all know my trick. I'm going to come on with my clear glue, and we're going to go right on that lash line right there. Make sure you get a nice, thick layer right there. Well, not thick, but you know enough. Also, I did not take that glitter all the way down to my lash line because then it is very hard for you to then put 
put a lash on top of glitter. It's just too many layers to it and it gets chunky and it gets nasty. And then you'll be able to see that glitter underneath your false lash. So if you're doing glitter, try your best not to take it all the way down to your lash line because it honestly is not needed because your lash is going to cover it. It's unneeded. It's messy. It's, it's, it's icky. Don't do it. Okay. And then, of course, come in with mascara. I always get asked, is mascara that important if you're wearing false lashes? Yes. Yes, it's very important because this mascara is what trains your lashes to go upward. And if you're like me, especially, and my lashes grow downwards, thanks to my heritage, you want to make sure you train them to, to go up. That way they will be seamless underneath that falsy. If you don't put mascara on your false lashes, you'll be looking, you'll look fine until somebody gets close to you and they see all the pigment from the eyeshadow that you use hanging out under, you know, your natural lashes will stick out underneath the false lashes. And it's just not a good look. It's not cute whatsoever at all okay now we're coming in with my primer this is my favorite primer at the, this is why i don't do straight here it's always sticking to some anyway but this is my favorite primer at the moment it is the elf again everything will be where in the description box i know y'all i'm actually gonna do it this time too and y'all know it'll be taking me a little mini but it's a lot of products y'all and sometimes i be lacking a little bit but but i got i got the list ready for y'all i got it ready okay I got it ready. <laughs> next we're gonna come in with foundation now people a tip about foundation if you if you hold turn your head to the side and your foundation does not match your arm or your neck or your chest it's too light or it's too dark it's just that simple it's too light or it's too dark know your winter shades if you are african-american or even if you're italian or any type of ethnicity with color to your skin with pigment to your skin make sure you know your summer colors as well as your winter colors yes your skin color changes i ain't talking about beyonce and her color change and that it might be a different story but you do get lighter in the winter time and darker in the summertime. You naturally tan. That's why you're supposed to wear a sunscreen every day, right? Okay. For the people that don't know that. Now, I'm using two concealers today. Y'all haven't seen me touch these concealers in a while, but I miss them because they work amazing. Okay, I'm coming in with my Thread Concealer. I'm going to use this shade that's almost just, just a hair lighter than my skin tone. Then we're going to come in with that same very white shade that we use to create our halo on our eye. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this darker concealer down first. And then I'm going to come in and give a pop of that little white just a little bit just did y'all see that look down though do y'all see that look down when i look down that the eyes oh the eyes is iron baby that my, my little boo thing was like no it's not a halo eye it's a galaxy eye well baby halo galaxy whatever it is is popping baby it's popping so then we're going to come in. I went on ahead and hit myself with some setting spray because it helps all everything that we have going on set and oxidize into my skin. It let those eyes be set, those eyes and brows, and it's helping get this concealer um, melted into my skin. Yeah, that makes sense. We're going to melt it into the skin, baby, okay? So then I'm taking my time with a very, 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 very slender beauty blender so I can get into all the nicks and crevices. Y'all see me tap, 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 and y'all know my trick. When I get to that outer corner of my eye right here, we are going to angle upward, right? Angle upward because it 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 lifts our face. We don't we don't sit under the knife, baby. We don't we don't sit on the operating table. We just get a makeup brush, okay? That's all you need. That's all you need. But we're gonna go ahead and go upwards with it because again, it gives us a natural facelift, okay? Make sure you're getting all up in them corners right there. Them corners was giving me a little run for my money at one point, but I, I got them fixed, y'all. I got them fixed. And y'all see me looking up because if you do not look up while you are um, blending out that concealer, you're going to have a little spot right on your lash line where you didn't blend all your products together and we will be able to see it, especially when you put powder on top of it. I'm speaking from experienced people, trust me. Right? So you want to make sure that you are looking up when you are setting underneath your eyes or even if you're doing mascara under your eyes, eyeshadow, whatever you're doing on your lower lash line, make sure you look up while you're doing it. Okay? Okay. Now, these e.l.f. liquid blushes... They got me in a chokehold. Baby, they got me in a chokehold. I needed a liquid blush just to add just a pop of color to my face. Easily. Easily, okay? All these other brands, liquid brushes, I had, I, I, I ain't really been feeling them. I ain't really been feeling them. And I like this type of applicator. I don't like the stick. I don't like the tube. I like this right here. It gives me enough product. I don't have to worry about getting too much product. It just gives me the right amount. And I'm taking my foundation brush and I'm tapping, y'all. Tap, 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 tap. And y'all see how that pink just brings out my eyes. It brings out the color. It just pulls everything together on my face. And I'm in love. I'm in love. But we're just going to tap to tap, tap to tap. But make sure y'all go get these liquid blushes. I'm not even sponsored from e.l.f., okay, baby? They ain't paying me a dime, but they are good. And I won't lie to you. You know, I'm going to tell you the truth as a T. Uh, you know, 
but all right baddies we're just gonna go ahead that wasn't enough pink for me so i went on ahead with a little bit more now as i said earlier you can add more but you can't take away it is nothing like putting too much product on your face when you get this far and you have to wipe everything off because you you remember how many layers you got and you you, you know and it will never look the same as the other side i, I wipe the other side too because it, it just it just won't look the same it won't do it but to seamlessly blend out this blush i am taking my um my under eye concealer brush and I am just blending and tapping everything downward so I'm tapping the concealer from under my eye and moving it downward into that blush zone just to seamlessly blend it together okay and then we're going to come in with our contour powder right underneath where we put that blush and I'm just going to tap to tap and then I'm going to rub tap to tap and then rub tap to tap then rub same thing on the other side tap to tap then rub tap to tap then rub but do y'all see how that blush brought that much more color to our face it defined our face and you know it just gave our face some shape i say r like it ain't my face gave my face some shape but you know i'm, I'm seeing as if you're doing it with me baddies okay like you're doing it with me and then i'm gonna come in with my foundation powder and i am going to blend it everywhere i did not put the concealer or the blush or the under eye so everywhere in between so right underneath that contour which is my chin line you know and around my mouth around my nose i am going to go ahead and get there and i'm also going to hit this nice five head of mine that everybody like talking about in the comments i know that forehead is sexy ain't it i know you yeah, i know it's hard to not look at it baby i know and then we're going to come in with that um setting powder now this is the setting powder for underneath my eyes this is what i was talking about earlier i am just tapping it tapping it tapping it but dragging it down just a smidge into where we created that blush now do you see the difference between the left side and the right side do you see how it is just that's just the icing on the cake that you just that, that last little piece that you need okay so we're just gonna tap to tap tap to tap 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 to tap tap to tap 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 now y'all see right on my lower lash line you see how it is seamless you cannot there there's there's no breaking point it's just a seamless blend that's what we need that's why you need to look up when you are blending um your under eyes with your especially with the liquid concealer before you set it with powder okay and here comes some more setting spray, baby. Some more. Uh, 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 uh. I'm telling you, one thing, get you some primer and get you some setting spray, baby. It is it's what makes your makeup last, baby. Well, don't you want it to last and look smooth and even? Yes, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with my favorite MAC pencil. This this, this, this pencil, is, this, it just goes on. It goes on like butter. Y'all see that? It's going on. like I don't like many MAC products. I'm going to be honest. I don't like many MAC, but I'm loving this one. This, this little pencil right here, mm, buy it every time. But I am following my natural lip line. If you want to overline your lips, yeah, show prerogative. This isn't much of a lip combo to overline your lips, I wouldn't say. I would say that it would be pretty obvious that you overlined them. But to each their own. You can do whatever look you, lip you want for your look. Black lipstick would work for this. Or even this shade I picked out right here at first. I was like, yeah, but it, it was just too much. I wanted you to really, really focus on my eyes. So I went with a nude lip instead and just put it right there in the center of that lip liner. Rub it together. And three, two, one. Pow. We are finished. Love you, ladies.